Hello guys, it is Heart Attack here, and today I'm going to show you how to get the information on your CPU on GPU stuff that you usually see in stuff like benchmarking videos in games for yourself. You need to download one program, and uh, that is MSI Afterburner, which is the program that most people use for overclocking their graphics cards. And you just want to go to the link in the description, and it'll start in features. You want to go to Downloads, and then Download Afterburner. Now, once it's downloaded, you want to click it to open it. Then you want to open the folder inside it. It may be a different number because of your version, and you just want to open that. And there'll be another zip file, and you just want to open that. It will give you the setup file. You just want to double click it, then press yes. And once it comes here, you want to select your language. It'll be automatically in English, I think, and then you want to press OK. Then next, I accept. Next. Now you want to make sure you have both of these selected. This is actually what lets you monitor, as you can see in the description there. So this provides frame rate monitoring, on-screen display, and video capture services to MSI Afterburner. And you want to press next. You, ca you can change this if you want to, but you don't have to. Next. You can press do not create shortcuts, but again, you do not have to. And press install. Okay, so about when the screen bar is done, it will open up a new installer. This is for the review tuner that actually lets you do all the stuff. And you want to press okay. Then Yes. Next. I accept. Next. You can change this if you want to again, but you don't have to. And then next and install. Now once it's finished, you just want to untick show readme and press finish. And then you want to untick show readme again and then run MSI Afterburner and press finish. Okay, so now it's done. It should look sort of like this. You may have a different skin on, but it doesn't really matter. You just want to navigate to the settings tab, which should look something like this. Maybe in a different location, depending on what skin you use. And you just want to click it. Now, if you did install everything correctly, you should have all of these at the top and you just want to go to monitoring and here is all the things you can choose to monitor so if you want to do gpu usage you press that and then you press show in on-screen display and it will say nosd say you want your fan tachometer your core clock your memory clock and say G cpu temperature and cpu usage you can have that and if you want frame rate this is actually on tech but all you have to do is press this little tick box beside it and same with frame time so all you have to just press the little tick and it will work now once that's done you do need to set up a couple of hotkeys so you want to go to on screen display which is the next tab at the top and here you can select different hotkeys i like doing one two and three on the numpad so number one to toggle on screen display number two to show it and number three to hide it and once that's done you just want to press ok so now if i go back into my black ops 2 and i press one it shows up and it shows the gpu usage the rpm of the fan the core clock the memory clock ded 11 which is actually the fps cpu one per like uh, temperature, CPU temperature, and the overall CPU usage. Now, if you just want to hide it, you can either press the first hotkey again, or you can press the last hotkey. Okay, so that's it for this video. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you have any questions or problems or recommendations, comment sections down below. If you didn't like it, dislike buttons there. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.